Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Foot Birthday Set 2 is here. I wanna talk about it, I wanna talk about all the SBC's objectives, and these beautiful new FIFA Ultimate Team Foot Birthday cards that are in the game today, and that are in the game as of Friday. And I wanna talk about the crazy market movements that we have had these past two days as well, because this market right now is literally uh, crazy, crazy high in price. Prices are soaring across the board with so many people on the game, um, new content being rolled out, and just a lot of, you know, there's a lot of hype and a lot of people able to play FIFA. So stuff is going very, very high on the transfer market, and I want to talk about that in this video. But first, I want to kind of cover the content that we got today and a few of my thoughts on it. I'm going to start with objectives, roll through this and the SBCs pretty quick, and then start talking about the market. But Make sure you guys are kind of doing these foot birthday daily objectives. I know it's easy on the weekend, but try to keep up with these during the week as well. You get some, you, you get like mega packs, I think, for this. We're doing three or four of these. It's absolutely worth it, in my opinion, for those. Bakioko and Cordoba came out today, as well as the, we knew about these weekend league picks, but they actually, we can redeem them now because weekend league is open. Bakioko is an 88 rated CDM in this game. Really, really high passing. And I want to go show you guys this individual stats on Bakioko because if you are on the fence about grinding this objective I would highly recommend doing it a CDM I know he's French I know he's in Ligue 1 the links are okay maybe it's a link to your uh your Neymar and your Mbappe that this guy could provide but honestly it could be a center back as well look at these in games 93 stand tackle 93 strength 94 aggression I don't even know if you're going to be able to get by this dude he's literally going to be a wall in the back just 96 short passing and 92 long passing as well with the five star weak foot he's going to be able to distribute in the midfield wherever he needs to go uh this card looks really good in my opinion agility and balance is a weak point for this card doesn't fit the meta i guess you could say but maybe this guy feels more like a, a viera-esque card right how tall is he he is six foot two six foot two um, and he's got 82 jumping as well. The, the heading accuracy isn't as great, but he's probably going to feel kind of like a Vieira-esque uh, to kind of compare him to a body type. He's going to be big, beefy, and just like a wall. So, you know, it's not going to be super duper hard to grind this guy. Although, if you can do it, I would highly recommend doing it because I think if you're going to do either of these two players, Bakioko is the one to do. Cordoba looks cool, looks fun, really juiced card. Uh, but again, doesn't really fit the meta this year unless you're a fan of Cordoba. Or you need that for like a, a Bundesliga first owner. Uh, I would I would highly recommend doing this. You do have to win seven uh, rivals games. You have to score an assist with a midfielder with a four star weak foot. So that might be a little bit of a grind. But you can knock a few of these out uh, at the same time if, if you can do that in rivals at the same time. So that's something you could uh, kind of try to do there. I would recommend going for Bakayoko this week though if you are available to do that. Talking SBCs. Really quick, we got a new center back today, Malang Sar, and I find this really interesting. This promo is dominated by French players and, and French cards in this game. We had a French left back, Amavi, five-star skiller, right? Now you have a nice little green link to him with Sar, and a green link to Sar and Amavi with Bakioko. You can make a nice little league on French triangle with those guys. So EA is thinking about these things when they put cards out, right? They know you maybe went and did a Mavi because it was the first or the second foot birthday SBC. Uh, and now, you know, maybe you want two five-star skillers in your back line, <laughs> I guess. But uh, they put out the SAR SBC today. This card looks really good to me as well. It only requires 285 rated squads. Do you think, oh, man, that's probably what, like 150K? Right now with how expensive fodder is, it's actually 200,000 coins. You also have to have a lot of chemistry for these SBCs, which is not helping the price stay down at all. But... I think you guys should be able to craft this if you're doing some upgrade packs at all this week uh, for a bit cheaper than what the going price is on the market. Low high work rates, five star skills, four star weak foot. Um, good acceleration for a center back. Really good agility and balance for a center back. Uh, 94 strength and 94 composure. Those are the two key stats that I want to talk about. 94 composure. That means the ball will stay at his feet really well and you shouldn't have too many of those bounce back tackles. Of course, DDA, you know, this gameplay, it could happen, but... 94 composure should mean that he keeps the ball at his feet pretty well. 94 strength means he's going to be pretty strong. Maintain some of those tackles. If you're going to do this SBC, maybe throw an anchor on him. Boost up that the tackling stats, the, def 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 defending stats. 
if I could speak a little bit on that card, but pretty solid. Um, am I gonna do him? He doesn't really fit my team, um, but maybe if I can craft him at some point, I will do that card right there. We also got a foot 14 um, uh, player pack SBC, or not player pack, just a untradeable pack SBC today as well. So that was the SBC and objective content. Now, to talk about this team, man, talk about this team. We had some price range issues today, um, but if we forget those for a second, if we just look at this team overall, not a bad squad, right? Some really, really cool upgrades in here. Van Dyke, awesome, cool. You just give Van Dyke another special card. Uh, this Theo Hernandez is, you know, pretty awesome, I, I, I think. Another French left back, though. <laughs> Seriously, another French left back. What is going on here with the French left backs? Um, and again, promo just dominated by French cards. We have one, two, three, four, five French cards in today's uh, team. And in team one, I think we had another three or four cards. So crazy amount of French cards in this promo. But Bale, Lacazette, Costa, Pogba, Di Maria, like there's some really, really hyped up cards in here because of the weak foot upgrades. Lacazette is one of them. Uh, reviews are saying this guy is really, really good. He was 1.5 mil on the PlayStation earlier today. Some of these guys right now are getting a bit low in price. Uh, and, and that's what I want to talk about first of all today is the price of these cards out of the bat. Day one, as they went into packs, we didn't have all the supply on these cards as we did with team one last week. So you didn't see a lot of the prices dipping down really low and then recovering today. You, what you kind of saw was prices maybe starting low or starting at, at a point. They went down a little bit during the, the second lightning round. Then they rebounded up after that with the whole market rising today after lightning rounds. And then now they're kind of trickling back down again. So we're thinking that there's a possibility we could maybe do some overnight flipping on a couple of these cards. I'll talk about that here in a second because some of them have dropped off a little bit. Um, you know, it is really risky to do that kind of flipping. I always try to put that, you know, out for you guys and kind of notify you that it is pretty risky doing those things but it is a way to trade right now. And we'll talk about some ways you can trade in this market as it is so high later in this video. But looking at some of these cards on the market, I wanna talk about some of the price ranges and actually show you a tweet as well uh, at some point of some of the stuff that went on today. This Gareth Bale is uh, around 2.3 million coins on the market. He was extinct at 1.8 earlier today, 1.8 mil. Uh, he went back up when he's got his price range update to like three something. And now he's back down at 2-2 where he's kind of settling and, and getting bought. This card's going to be used for the rest of FIFA, man. A five-star weak foot bail. It's going to be a lot of people out to get this card that want to try him because of that weak foot now makes him really usable in game where he maybe wasn't as usable before just because of the weak foot that was hindering him only being a three-star. Um, but that's a pretty hyped up card. Lacazette as well. I want to check his price at the moment if I could. Lacazette is 1.32, so he's chilling kind of low. These guys don't have a lot of supply. Di Maria doesn't either. Um, and I want to talk about this card. I'm glad that they made Di Maria. I'm honestly very glad that they made Di Maria a right wing. I'm glad they made Di Maria a right wing because, or right mid, um, because you can now run a Neymar left mid or left wing a little 4-3-3 like pre-game situation you could run Neymar on the left you could run Mbappe in the middle and Di Maria on the right and that is a PSG strike force of dreams with upgraded cards that you could use now five star five star on the Di Maria uh, again the five star weak foot has been hindering or the three star weak foot's been hindering this card for a long time not a very aggressive player but he's going to feel great on the ball 99 agility 87 composure Maybe boost up the shooting a little bit. Maybe maybe boost up the passing a little bit if you're going to put a chem style on this card. Um, but this is, looks like a really, really fun card to use. He's very rare as well. I'll show you this right now. This Di Maria card is very, very rare on the market uh, for his rating. 91 rated. He's got three pages, four pages of supply. So these cards, I think, have the same pack weight as uh, the ones that came out last week. But uh, again, a lot less supply today on these. Then the foot birthday set one 100k packs 1.9 so just about the same pack weight on these cards right here but talking about price ranges once again i want to talk about douglas costa because this is really kind of scummy from ea today uh what they ended up doing on some of these price ranges today so douglas costa was extinct uh this man was extinct at 750,000 coins to start the day off he has since uh 
increased his price range, I think, to like, what is its price range now? It's like one one five or something like that. So they increased his price range. Um, but there was a point for an hour earlier tonight where EA reverted those price changes back. So Douglas Costa went from 750 to like 1.5 mil. Then they reverted it back to 750. So you had people on the market that were buying some of these cards um, for crazy high prices. Like this bail right here, I took a screenshot of on my companion app because Bale's price went from 3.4 mil max down to um, the 1.8 mil max where he was before. So if anybody was getting bail, they were listing him up at 1.8, it was getting sniped immediately because people knew that was too cheap. And there was only one Gareth Bale card that was sitting on the market because this was listed before the price range change happened. So it was still an active listing um, that wasn't changed by the price. So th again, this is another thing. And the reason I made this tweet and I tagged EA FIFA Direct in it is because we don't have a lot of information on price ranges. They just change and we don't know what is the reasoning or what's the timetable that EA uses to try to update price ranges in this game. And that is something that we need to know. I want to know EA Sports. If you're listening to this, please give us some information on when, what you look for. Uh, do you look for a certain percentage in price before you go and update a card's price range or uh, extinct for a certain amount of time to make sure that it's not just because of lack of supply? Give us some info. Tell us why you do upgrade price ranges at some times and you don't upgrade price ranges at some times. That is one area in foot we don't have a lot of information about and I would love more info and more openness if you're open to give that EA. I'm just saying I would love that. Please do that. But uh, that was some a little bit of... That was like our only issue today. We didn't have server issues, so that was nice um, at the very least. But I want to talk about this market rise because this market seriously is going crazy 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 high i've been watching a couple icons watching a couple cards today i did excuse me i did get a lot of good sales today it was a very very good day to flip cards but showing you the transfer targets once again um during that little price range fiasco this douglas costa went on bid for 1.12 million coins because there were none on, on the market that were less than 1.4 because they were all max buy it now listed uh, so that was part of that whole fiasco. But um, the market today rose incredibly, incredibly after rewards. I flipped a bunch of icons today. It was fantastic for flipping. And then I flipped some of these other cards as well. This Gareth Bale. Once I saw that the new Gareth Bale was extinct and I saw the card that he had, I knew there would be hype for some of his lower tier cards on the market. So I went out literally right at like 6 p.m. UK. I went out, I looked for this bail, right? This is something that you can do for future promos. This happened with Kevin De Bruyne last week. How much, is, I don't even know, want to know how much this card is right now. How much is this card? Okay, so he's, he's back down. Well, this is crazy, man. This is, this just goes to show how crazy the buyback was. Whoa, thank you. This just goes to show you how crazy the buyback was earlier today on foot. I'll take that Gareth Bale. Don't mind if I do. 330K is pretty cheap. Uh, the buyback was nuts. Gareth Bale was 340,000 coins at 6 p.m. UK, right? He was literally that price at 6 p.m. UK. And I, that's a little bit of profit there, right? Ooh, that's not a lot of profit. I kind of listed that too low. Shoot, because I can get 370 for that. That was a bad listing. My bad, boys. I shouldn't be listing cards uh, and trying to trade when I'm trying to talk about this. But uh, Bale was 350 or 330 earlier today. He was 330. I bought mine for 337, I think the one that you see on my transfer list. 337 is what I bought it for. And the amount of buyback, two hours after the lightning round started, right? So we're talking like 8 p.m. UK, 8 to 10 p.m. UK. The buyback was incredible. I bought these Havertz as well for 420,000 coins or less just because I knew there was going to be some rebound after the after lightning rounds ended. But the rebound was incredible. The rebound was seriously incredible. How much is Havertz? Uh, right now, how much is this card? Oh my gosh. All right. He's still kind of high then, right? I bought all these. I'm not in the right price range. I need 400. I bought all these again at 420,000 coins. I sold them for four, uh, 455 and boom, the dude is back down at 400. Look at this, bro. This is just how insane the buyback was after all the packs today. Wow. Are you kidding me? He's back down to like 430. So he's literally almost back down to where I bought him at today. But the rebound was so heavy 
after the lightning rounds and when people got packs or people got coins and they went to go buy cards for the weekend league teams the rebound was so heavy in those couple hours that we saw prices just sky rocket that's insane that some of these are back down let me check some of the icons that i flipped as well right um i flipped some icons at decently crazy prices like socrates has been 1.9 mil all this week sold them at two, uh just over two mil um what else is crazy this Vieira card i sold them on bid at 1149 i bought this at 1060 and i watched him sell for 1.189 if you look at his flipping graph let me show you his flipping graph because this is honestly incredible this is honestly incredible, the amount of buyback that we had today. 86 Vieira was the card that I bought. He's 1245 right now. I doubt that he's actually selling at that price, but look at his price, bro. He's he's usually around 1.1 mil or under 1.1 mil. So yes, I got an undercut, right, at 1060. But I was thinking, okay, I might be able to sell this at like 1.13. Um, but literally, look at this buyback. The man is shot up in price. That's what happened with all of these cards today. This Rivaldo was a 430k card two days ago. Now you can sell them for 530. Up 100k on that price of a card is nuts. Seriously incredible. I bought this at 132, 132, sold it at 147. This I bought at 13 flat. I bought this at 183. I bought this at 15. I bought this at 116, sold at 127. I bought this at 12 flat. I bought this at 1050. Uh, so there were tons and tons of flips to, to be had today on this game. If you were able to buy stuff in the, there wasn't a lot of panic heading into the promo today at 6 PM UK. There wasn't really that much panic. I was watching some cards, uh, like I was watching the left wing Sterling, right? I don't know how much this card's going to be now, but I was watching the left wing headliner Sterling. Um, I don't know what he went to like upwards in price. He is 290. So he's kind of about the same. Uh, but it's probably the same situation with all those other cards that we saw today. We saw so much rebound within the hours right after um, the packs came out. And now you kind of see some stuff trickling back down as there's not much demand. But that's why I'm interested in possibly picking up a few of these foot birthday cards overnight tonight. And if you have any of the cards from set one um, that are still high in price, we're talking like I think St. Maximin is like 1.5 mil. These cards boomed today as well. When when people saw the prices of some of these new foot birthdays, um, they went out and they bought. This guy was one five at one point. He literally was one five at one point. Now he's back down to the to one four. But this is still two hundred thousand coins greater than what he was before rewards on Thursday. So foot birthday team one, the meta cards like Griezmann as well. He's up hundred k. Rashford's up hundred k. Um, Musa Sissoko was like eight eighty. Now he's nine. He was nine hundred and ninety k at one point. Uh, so a lot of cards really boomed up today, literally across the market. They went crazy, crazy high. But what I'm envisioning for the rest of today is there's so many people on this game playing weekend league, doing objectives because they have time and there's a hype promo out right now. Of course, with these extra weekend league player picks, a lot more people are on the game playing weekend league. I am going to expect a more centralized sell off than last week because we don't have a weekend league ex extension yet, at least unless we have some server problems today. Um, but I would expect a more centralized weekend league sell-off today, Saturday night, starting on Saturday. I think in the afternoon, you're going to see some prices start to trickle down. Even if we get good, like if we get a good SBC content today, um, if we get a, like a massive big time SBC, like a player SBC or something else that EA would put out that could drain a lot of coins off this market, um, that's one thing to think about right now. The market is so high. The market has a lot of coins. You're seeing some of the prices on these cards. People are paying 3.5 million coins for this Pogba card, right? 3.3395. What? What did I search? I searched 35. What? Where's the next Pog Batman? Are you telling me that's a 100K undercut and it's the cheapest on the market just chilling there? <laughs> wow. Crazy. But um, people are willing to pay 3 million coins for this card. There are a, there's a ton of coins that are on the market right now. SBC fodder is still pretty expensive all around because of mid icon SBCs. SBCs we're getting almost every day, a new player SBC. There's tons of them out there that you can craft or you can kind of work towards right now to improve your team too. Um, so I see EA this week possibly taking advantage of the high price of fodder. We'll take a look at it right now. The high price of fodder, I see EA taking advantage of that this weekend because this mid-icon SBC 
and all the other SPCs that are out there are causing all of these high rates to shoot up in value. So um, I kind of hope we get some SPCs this week because that means they might suck some coins off of the game. Not that I really want the market to go down, but um, I just think so many things are inflated right now. It's hard. It's hard to invest, right? And that would be my, if you want to be trading today on the weekend, on Saturday, if you want to make some coins, my advice to you would be focus on the special cards, the out of pack specials, right? Like, you know, we talk about guys all the time, out of pack special cards, like um, future, uh, even some of these new promo cards, past team of the weeks, past uh, promo cards like the Havertz right now. I'm going to lose on this one because his price is not up. See if I can hold him into the morning, right? But look at some, maybe some headliners or um, I already said future stars, winner refresh players. Do some chemistry style trading because maybe especially with the with the first set of a birthday, what is like Lucas Hernandez, right? Lucas Hernandez, I think, is like uh, 280K-ish. Basically, what we're going to be doing is chem style trading, 271. Uh, what is he? 270, 275 for Lucas Hernandez. What is Lucas Hernandez with a shadow? On the weekends, chemistry style trading with these cards is fantastic. He's only, yeah, he's not that much more. 280K uh, with the shadow. But just be on the lookout, especially on the lower level, right? On the lower level of cards, maybe like a Renato Sanchez shapeshifter, right? Renato Sanchez. Can I find this card, please? Yes. Renato Sanchez, the left back version. That's probably only a... No, they're in Champions League, I think, right? So left back, Renato Sanchez, 50K. 60k oh dude this card boomed today as well 60k ish for Renato sanchez this might be the type of card you could flip um and then try to find him with the shadow chem style or an attacker with 100 chem style but you can probably flip some cards this weekend to get on open bid from people that are selling off their weekend league teams and from uh people that are listing because they're done with the weekend league and sell them on fluctuations because there will be continuous buying throughout this weekend and of course, watch the sell-off. When we have the weekend league sell-off this weekend, watch the sell-off on center backs, right? Because some of them got hit today. Watch the sell-off on, on French center backs, especially as maybe people finish the weekend league and they say, hey, I'm gonna go, go, go get this guy or I got this guy this weekend and I'm just gonna sell the card that I have in my club. So watch the sell-off on a guy like, um, you know, center backs across the game. Maybe like that Kamara future stars card. You might see a drop on him a little bit. Maybe watch the drop on Conte if people are going to go try Pogba or Bakayoko instead of having Conte in their teams. And then maybe watch the drop off on other left backs that are pretty meta. 466k for this Theo Hernandez. People might want to go try him too. So watch the drop off on cards. I actually think that you might see the icon market dip a little bit lower this weekend because again, we have another set of very high priced, very high quality cards that people might want to try. And instead of using like you know, maybe an icon moment Shevchenko, somebody wants to go and try out Lacazette, right? That could be something that happens this uh, early in the end of this week, Saturday night, Sunday with weekend league and getting past the weekend league. Um, so I do think the market will again, kind of trend down into the evening this, e th this weekend, but there's still a lot of coins on this game. So I don't expect prices to really dip that much. Just trend downward from where they were earlier today with the immense buyback that we had from this promo. So just be careful with some of that. If you're going to overnight flip these cards, be careful with those. And I hope that we get some sort of content today on Saturday as well. Maybe hit some upgrade packs, all right? Since SBC fodder is high, I noticed that EA has been giving out a little bit in the 81 pluses. If you do those 81 plus double upgrade SBCs, you, you have a chance of getting some decent stuff out of them. You really, really do. Um, they're not that expensive to, um, to make. It says 8,000 coins. If you buy the cards during lightning rounds, you can get them on bid for 650. Uh, and that's another thing we'll have today. If you're going to try out any of these foot birthday cards, I would say get them out and sell them before lightning rounds because these are going to have another wave of supply coming through today. This is a long video, longer than I wanted it to be, but there's a ton of stuff to talk about with the second set of foot birthday, tons of market movements. We'll again be here to break it down tomorrow um, and have some more fun. Hopefully we can make some coins today. Um, yeah, hopefully you did make some coins. Today. That's what I mean, because the market really, really flew. And if you were able to buy stuff before, um, even if it didn't look that low, if you bought stuff before, even if you bought your team, the that couple hours after the lighting rounds where the market flew was honestly just incredible. So 
Uh, I wanted to come on and talk about that with you guys today and cover all the new content that we did get. So if you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.